ladies and gentlemen, this is Stephen V. Richardson speaking to you from the beautiful San Francisco Bay Area. I am so excited to be back on Conversations on Success, Organo's global platform where we get together and we break some bread, we have some conversations, we talk about what's going on and what's getting ready to happen. And I am so excited to have been invited back to be on this amazing platform where we have so many servant leaders who come and share their experiences, share their stories, share their wisdom. And as always, I, I promised myself this time that I was going to take my time, don't get too excited, no shouting, no spitting, and really just share a, a few bits of information. I typically am going so fast because I'm always so excited to be on this platform, but also I have so much information I want to share with you. I'm going to be extremely concise this time and hopefully it'll be the most powerful conversation that I've had with you and maybe that you've had in a while on this platform. So I have some lofty goals and I'm gonna let them let you know what they are right away. My goals for today's conversation, I want each and every one of you, whether you're watching this live or on watching this on recording, I want each and every one of you to have the ability you have to be, you, you're in charge of the willingness, but the ability to earn more money starting today. I want each and every one of you to be able to recruit more people starting today. I want each and every one of us to be able to retain more distributors starting today. And I also want us, I want to be able to empower you to empower more people. So sound like some pretty lofty goals. I think I might be up to it. And if it sounds like it's something you're interested in, write in the comments. I can't see it now, but I'll definitely go back and respond to each and every one of you that you're ready, you're ready to rock and roll. Say, I'm here, Stephen. <clears throat> I'm ready, Stephen. Let's get this party started after I take a sip of my gourmet black with Irish cream. Here's a question for you. What would you do? with an extra three to $500 every month. Now, I almost had the question of, what would you do if you needed an extra three to $500 this month? A Little bit of different sense of urgency, but it's really the same question. And I hope you follow along. I hope you stay with me, no matter how well you're doing. We have lots of people all over the world who are doing extremely well. No matter how well you're doing, I want you to stay with me because it's a very important point that I'm making step by step, brick by brick. So I'll ask you again, what would you do with an extra three to $500 a month? Here's what many people do in our profession. Are, and they allow other people to do. They allow people to minimize the importance, the power of three to five hundred dollars. If you told somebody, maybe you probably are, you probably have if you've been in this thing for a while. If you told somebody, hey, I got this amazing side business going and it's just so exciting. I'm, I'm so happy. I'd even love to share it with you if, you if you're open to it. And it has, it's been a very long time somebody asked me this question. But guess what question they might ask that type of person? Well, how much money are you making? Oftentimes, we're reluctant to give the real answer, whether it's zero or a lot, because typically it's either too little or too much. But even if somebody is, and I'll say this in quotes, even if somebody in their mind or what they think other people will think in other people's minds, that they're only making three to $500 a month, that is so powerful. And if we just understood the power of an extra three to $500 every single month, give you an example. No matter how well somebody is doing, how much do you think, we're just talking talk North America, but all over the world, every single month, how much not are people earning, but how much do people do you think people are saving? The answer is not very much, right? Statistically proven, the average person, no matter how much money they're making, is not saving very much. Many people, I dare to say most people with traditional jobs, even traditional businesses, are basically living paycheck to paycheck, okay? So if most people are living paycheck to paycheck, and they are, by the way, 
That means they're not saving any money. They're doing the best they can to provide for their family, to pay for their bills, to keep moving, and they're not saving any money. Hopefully, they don't have a lot of credit card debt. We won't even open that book. But let's just say they are saving just enough, just maybe a little 100, 200 here, and then what happens? There's some type of emergency, some type of necessity to go into the savings and take that money out. So if there was an opportunity, I love this following phrase. During the normal course of their day, around their existing schedule, they could actually build a business from home that could generate an extra few hundred dollars a month. Do you think that would be of interest to people if we communicated properly? Because three to five hundred dollars a month is probably more than they're saving right now. So just imagine. They're doing all that they can, 40, 50, 60 hours a week probably, putting in to make whatever they're making, and they're only saving this much, and there's an opportunity to earn that much part-time during the normal course of their day around their existing schedule. So three to $500 a month. Why is that so important? Because that is the foundation upon which our proud profession is really built. We know. They're amazing superstars. And we have our own stories in Organo. We can start with Miss Blanca Sectoris. We can go down the line of all the amazing crown ambassadors and crown diamonds and diamonds and blue diamonds and black diamonds and sapphires and rubies and emeralds and diamonds, all those people who are doing great things. This is the foundation of their business. Distribution partners who have their own lives, they have their own business, they have their own job, they have their own life going on, and they're doing typically just enough to make a little bit of money. And guess what that is? That's okay. So three to $500 a month. How do we do that? Retail. Everybody say retail. If you're playing along, if you're following instructions, if you're teachable and coachable in the comments, whether you're listening to this live, are doing it by, by replay, I want you to write in the comments, retail, retail, retail. It's the foundation of everything. That's why we're really here. Yes, we're here to provide for ourselves. Yes, we're here to provide for our families. Yes, we're here to help other people. How do we do that? We sell product. We sell a business opportunity. And the only reason why we get distribution partners is so that they can help us sell more product, right? Retail. And it's so easy. I, I am as guilty as anybody. It's so easy to forget why we're here and the power of just doing a little bit every single day. Retail. Now, of course, we have a wide ecosystem of amazing products and services I'm going to focus for the sake of time and our conversation to keep it simple. And I'm going to focus on the product category that we did our first $2 billion ish of sales all over the world. So, yes, we have amazing spa quality skincare. Yes, we have an amazing travel program. I won't even list all of them. We have them. And I'm doing that as much for the people who've been around as much for people who are brand new. And if you're brand new to Organo, welcome to the family. If you're just checking us out, welcome, check us out. Get back to the person who invited you on this call and have a conversation and see if this is a match for you. But for everybody else, yes, we have a lot of great things, great products and services. Let's have a cup of coffee. I want you to imagine Actually, I'm going to say one more thing about the power of three to five hundred dollars. We're going to go back. The power of three to five hundred dollars. Do you know anybody, whether you're friends with them or not, who is working a part time job? I know the answer is yes. Maybe it's you, maybe it's a family member, friend, neighbor, or if you go out there into the world, most of those people working most of those retail jobs, service jobs, guess what they're doing? They're working part time. Why are they working part-time? I don't know. Maybe the best they can do right now, maybe just life, whatever. But they're working part-time because that employer will not allow them to work more than 30 hours a week because they don't want to pay them benefits. So I looked this up today. National 
minimum wage in North America, in the in, in United States right now, is $15.50 an hour. If you're not allowed to make, to work more than 30 hours a week, that means the most you can make if you're a part-time worker, and yes, there are part-time workers who get, do get paid more than that, but we're given an average. If you're making $15.50 an hour and you're working up to 30 hours a week, you're making $465 a week. And of course, that 465 is not really 465, is it? Because there's the tax man and there's getting to and from work. I know people who are making minimum wage and who take an Uber or Lyft every single day and they go get a cup of coffee, different conversation for a different time. But the power of three to $500, hopefully you get it. And if you get it, say, Stephen, I got it. All right. We're sitting down. I want you to imagine a couple scenarios. The first scenario is you're either at your house, let's say your house, you're at your house and you're having a friend over for a, for a casual conversation. You're just talking about life, talking about weather, talking about summer, talking about the kids. And then somewhere along the way, when they walk in the door, as a matter of fact, what did you offer them as soon as they walked in? Would you like some water, like some tea, like some coffee? They're going to ask for something. I don't know about you, but if it was me and they came to my house, I would say something like, you drink coffee, right? I love coffee. How do you drink it? Black or cream and sugar? Cream and sugar. I don't really want to drink it right now because I already had my coffee for the day. Cool, but you do drink your cream and sugar, right? Yeah. I'll be, do you drink it hot? Drink it cold? Oh, usually cold right now in the summertime. All right. I'll be right back. I don't want anything. No problem. I have acquired so many customers after they've tried my coffee, after they've told me they didn't want it because I give it to them anyway. I know you said you didn't want some coffee. I made some anyway. Do me a favor, take a sip. If you don't like it, spit it out, put it down. Don't worry about it, but I just had to bring it. They will drink all of it every single time. Back to the script. All right, you're sitting around having a casual conversation and you're just having a cup of coffee, as always. If you're having a cup of coffee, as always. And you're just talking about stuff, asking about the kids, and then guess what happens? You say, how's that coffee? They'll say, actually, it's pretty good. Really? Father. Okay. <laughs> good to see you, Father. Live Zoom with my 91-year-old father coming in. All right, all is well. So... All, the, the point of this conversation is it's just a natural interaction. You give them some coffee. Don't talk about it. Don't say it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Don't say there's this something magical, something in it it's called gamma something. Don't say you're getting rich off. Just give them a cup of coffee and keep having a conversation. Somewhere along the way, you might ask, hey, by the way, how was that coffee? It's actually pretty good. Where'd it come from? Oh, remember that little side thing I said I was doing with, with, my, with my wife? Yeah, that's that. How did it taste? Tastes pretty good. Let me ask you a question. You, you drink your coffee latte. When you go out there in the marketplace and buy it by the cup, where do you normally go? Starbucks or, yeah, you go to Starbucks. That cup of coffee I gave you, that latte, how much do you normally spend to get your cup of latte? Guess what they're going to say? I don't know, $3, $3.50. $4, right? That's all, you gotta, that's all you gotta know. What they drink, how they drink it, where they normally get it from. I personally don't always ask, what's your favorite brand? Because they might not be drinking their favorite brand all the time. I'll ask them, when you go out there in the marketplace and buy your coffee by the cup, where do you typically go? Because that's my real competition. All right. We know what they drink. We know they liked our coffee. They actually said they loved it. We know how much they're spending for it. So what would I say to somebody who I care about, to somebody who already knows, likes, and trusts me? I'll say, hey, by the way, that coffee, probably healthier than what you're buying there at Starbucks. Let me ask you a question. If you could get that coffee, which you said tastes great, it costs less than what you're spending in the marketplace, and it's healthier, would you at least try it for a while? Yeah, great. Here's a box. That's it. That's a scenario where you're just having a conversation with somebody and it's in the normal course of a day. 
who can you share coffee with like that too? Someone who's in your area, some who, who you, if you're working with somebody, you see them coming in with Starbucks every single day. I don't know why you haven't talked about your business yet. Maybe it's work things. You don't want to get conflict. I get that. But can you give somebody a cup of gourmet, delicious, healthier coffee and just see what happens? Hey, I know you come in every day with, with, with coffee. What do you, how do you normally drink your coffee? Straight black, real coffee drinker. Cool. Don't even say anything. The next day, you put a cup of coffee on the counter. What's this? I found this new coffee. Thought you might like it. Try it. Tell me what you think. The whole point is during the normal course of your day around your existing schedule, each and every one of us can get some new retail customers. What about if you're having a casual conversation with somebody? Maybe you've known them for a while. Maybe you're meeting them for the very first time. Once again, just get to know each other, having a casual conversation. And I might say something like, you drink coffee? What are they going to say? I love coffee. Or yeah. I love coffee. That's what most people say. When you drink it, how do you drink it? Black or cream and sugar? I drink it, I drink it cream and sugar. Cool. I drink mine with a little bit black and, and Irish cream. Hey, when you go out in the marketplace, how much, where do you normally go to get it? McDonald's, Mac Cafe. Okay, been doing that for a while. Yeah, in the last few years. Cool. All right. Continuing the conversation. I'm going to somewhere along the way. Hey, hey, by the way, that coffee you get, how much do you normally spend for? for a cup. People who buy coffee every day out there in the marketplace know how much their coffee costs. They tell you, cool. If you ask them, and you're having a conversation, if you ask them what type of work do they do, what would they probably ask you after they answer your question? Hey, by the way, what type of work do you do? Hey, thanks for asking. I actually work for the city but my wife and I have had a part-time business for a while. As a matter of fact, it happens to be coffee. Hey, let me ask you a question. If I gave you a sample of some delicious gourmet coffee, would you at least try it and tell me your honest opinion how it tastes? Sure. Here's a sample. Hey, what's a good number I can call you? Some of us have forgotten what we built this amazing company upon. Sharing samples of product, sharing a business opportunity, and letting things happen as they happen. Very, very simple. Why is this information so important? Because when, actually, that's another question. Why would someone want to buy your coffee? We already said it. It tastes great. It costs less. It's healthier. It tastes great. How do we know they think it tastes great? We give them a sample and ask their honest opinion on how it tastes, how it makes them feel. How do we know it costs less? We know because we know, but we confirm it and help them understand because we ask them. After they've had the cup of coffee or tea or whatever beverage you give them, ask them, hey, by the way, when you buy that at that other place, how much does it cost? Cool, now you know how much money you can save for every cup of coffee they drink from that point on. Is that a good thing? Once again, I did this today. I looked this up. Seemingly credible source. This is the average price for a cup of medium latte in America right now. Going from 289 at a place we all know all the way up to 478 for someplace else that everybody knows, right? So tastes great, costs less, healthier. Am I missing something? How much easier can this business be? Comparison, all right, here's the business side. This is for somebody who is brand new and organo, somebody who's looking at it from the outside or someone who's been asleep for a while and has not been acquiring retail customers on a regular basis. Just for you, once again, I created this slide on my phone today. Looked at my back office, confirm, you never know what happens in, with the prices. Hey, yeah, haven't changed. Cool. All right. Gourmet latte, gourmet black, one box, $22 wholesale. The recommended price is $33 retail. So if you took just the difference, you're making $11 a box. 
Here's the cool thing. This is your business. When you sell your product face to face, you can charge whatever you want. And as you see from the breakdown, 20, uh, 20 box, 20 sachets in a box of latte, 30 sachets in a box of black. As you know, if you know that the latte per cup wholesale is a dollar ten, and people are spending exponentially more out there in the marketplace, they've already told you they drink coffee every single day. They've already told you that they love your coffee. They've already told you how much they spend. If somebody is getting this, if somebody is remembering this, put in the comments, yep, that's right. Sounds about, that's about it. So whether you're buying your product wholesale, latte, dollar ten a cup wholesale, dollar sixty, even if you're paying full retail for our product, it still costs less than what people are spending out there in the marketplace per cup, typically. That's why if you're if you're talking to somebody and they buy their coffee by the vat at a grocery store, that's probably not your customer. That's okay. There are a lot more customers out there. If they get their coffee at, for free and they're satisfied with whatever they're serving at their place, maybe that's not your customer. Next, it's okay. Gourmet Black, a dollar ten per cup for full retail. A lot of people pretend that the products that are sold in our proud profession cost more than out in the marketplace because we have to justify all the commissions we're paying. That may or may not be true for other companies selling other products and services, but for Organo, no. Tastes great, costs less, healthier. Final stretch, just create another slide on my phone a few hours ago. Side by side comparison. Now, hey Steven, it costs less than where, where less than that where I am. Okay, fix the number. It's still going to be less, even if it's the same. I would dare to say, even if it costs more, we have more value than what is being served out there. But typically, it's less. Let me ask you a question, friend. You drink coffee every day. Right now, you're spending. Let's just say. $3 a cup for your coffee. And it's not healthy for you, right? I can show you later why this is healthy, but what I really want you to do, buy a box from me and do me a huge favor. You already said you liked it. Drink this box until it's gone and then tell me how you'd like it, how it makes you feel at the end of the box. Why do I have somebody? Sometimes I give somebody a full box. Sometimes I sell it to them at wholesale for the first sale. Sometimes I sell it at complete retail. It's up to me because it's my business. When I sell them or give them a box, is it worth to give somebody a box of coffee for $22 if they're going to be your customer for the next 14 years? Raise your hand, everybody, if you've had a retail customer in your organic business for over 10 years. I know the Gaskins do. I know, <laughs> I know a lot of people do. I know the Nielsen's do. All right, final stretch. Tastes great, costs less, healthier. Retail. As soon as you create a new, everybody say new, a new story of just, of only earning an extra few hundred dollars a month, a week, but even a month. Now you have a powerful story to share. You have a powerful question to ask properly. How's your summer going? It's going great. <laughs> I'm, I, I found a way where I can earn the same money that I'm saving part-time as I'm earning, as I'm saving in my entire business. Can you say it again? Yeah. I found a way that I can generate the same amount of money that I'm saving every month that I am generating on my full-time job. What is it? Oh, you want to know? I'll send you a link. Very, very simple. Who can we talk to? I don't have time to go through this list, but everybody, family, friends, co everybody. 
here's a here i'm gonna have i have six minutes left right on time i'm gonna have a conversation with people who've been in this business for a minute you know who you are everybody everybody who you've ever given a sample to everybody who has ever bought one coffee one box of coffee from you at least once everybody who invited to a coffee and jazz mix or a casual gathering that came at least once. Everybody who was part of your organization and decided not to actually work the business, everybody, all those people who were drinking coffee before Organo and left us for whatever reason, guess what they're still doing? They're still drinking coffee. Many of them are drinking our product. A lot of them, possibly most of them have stopped. Why? because you didn't offer it to them. So many people to help. So much to say, so little time. I, I'm just gonna give, someone take a screenshot of this, of this thing. I created this about an hour and a half ago. What do these professions have in common? I'm not gonna read the whole list. Coders, journalists, advertising, content creators, financial analysts, Uber drivers, truck drivers, if you're any part of manufacturing, market research, graphic designers, retail sales, paralegals, what do all these professions have in common? They're either in serious trouble of going away completely or they're going to be impacted more than anybody can imagine due to technology, whether it's AI or whether it's the automated driving thing. I hope somebody wakes up and smells the coffee because there's a storm coming and we want to get people associated, introduced to our products, to our services, to our opportunity before the world turns upside down because they won't have an open mind when the, the roof is, is falling. I think of us as lifeguards. We're on the beach, it's a beautiful day, we're working out there protecting everybody and what's everybody else doing having fun messing around not paying attention we can see the future sometimes if we're paying attention and we see somebody just a little easing over into the deep zone easing over into the part where there's the undertow they're a kid their their parents are not look paying attention we see that and we say hey you need some help guess what they say no nope, we're good okay You've done that before, right? You've seen somebody's situation. You've offered them the opportunity. We, you, you've offered them the opportunity to take a look at something that has improved your life, the lives of countless others, and could possibly help them. You ask them if they're open, they say, nope, I'm good. Okay, getting pretty deep and dangerous over there. Our responsibility is to know what we have, know how we've helped others as a company, as a family, know how we can help them and simply properly offer. And we will find enough people who want to consume our amazing, great tasting, healthier gourmet coffee, organic tea and other products to achieve our wildest dreams. Retail, you create some stories, you invite some people, you expose, you follow up, you work with the willing, you, it's, it's never been complicated. It was only complicated by people who complicated it. I wish I had more time. Take a screenshot. <laughs> I wish I had time. Final 128 seconds, 20 seconds. November 50, 2009 is when I became part of the Organo family. I am more excited, more fired up, more believing than ever. Why is that, Stephen? Because I keep my mind right. I keep my focus right. I keep my activity right. We're going to do some dream building for the last 60 seconds. This is what I do. If I see a picture that either I have created or that somebody online has created, whether it's, an, it's another distributor or the company, I will capture it, put it in a folder and save it for my dream building. This is just some of the things I look at all the time. Understanding the journey, VIP, Platinum, VIP Elite, 
Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald, Diamond. I look at these pictures over and over and over again, knowing the recognition we're going to receive, knowing the foundation of Star Achiever Program. Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald, Diamond. I look at them all the time, all day, every day, everywhere. They're on my phone. They're in my pocket. They're in my car. They're on my ceiling. They're on my windows over and 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 over again to continue to build my belief the actual crown and scepter from our amazing crown ambassador Blanca Sectoris. I was near it. I took a picture of it. I saved it and I use it for my fuel. Sapphire, ruby, emerald, diamond. So many things have been accomplished and we're just getting started. Do you know how few companies there are in our profession that have been around for 15 years, stronger than ever from a infrastructure corporate standpoint, and nobody knows who we are, rounded off yet, but they're going to, aren't they? Oh, I wish I had time to talk about time. Oh, so many amazing things. I've seen it. You've seen it. You know it's possible. And now it's time. It's time for each and every one of us to shine bright. We're going to have some product. We're going to have some people to talk to. We're going to schedule our business. We're going to plug in for another 18 months. And we're going to see each other on the beaches of the world. OG getaway. How do you get there? You share some product. How do you get there? You sell some product. How do you get there? You meet some people. How do you get there? You invite some people. How do you get there? You get rejected over and 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 over again. Then you keep going. How do you get there? Retail profit. You do it, you duplicate it, and you keep moving. I am so excited, so happy and grateful. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you at the next event. Don't know where it is. All I know is I'm already promoting. I'm promoting for a convention. I'm promoting. I don't know when it is. I don't know where it is. I just know about when it's probably going to happen. So I'm talking to people about the business. When I'm walking them into the business, I'm talking about an event that they have to attend because I know it's going to change their life, change their belief, and change everything. It's been Stephen V. Richardson. Speaking to you from beautiful San Francisco, California. Even if I haven't met you yet, here's what I can tell you. I love you. I appreciate you. I believe in you. And I'm so excited about what's getting ready to happen. Take care, everybody. Much love to you.